Right, so let's just set things up then. So, so we're working on dual carriageways. You've just had a go at delivering a briefing to me and you've had a practice at giving me some practical instructions on the move on dual carriageways on your planned route. And we just did a little debrief and things to come out of that were to kind of know your route and give me directions clear and in good time because I was getting confused when I where to go okay. and that was causing some risk because we was on quite a busy bit of road and me not knowing could have potentially been quite dangerous couldn't it and then we part of one of our learning aims was to look at overtaking on dual carriageway and you instructed me into danger to do an overtake which wasn't safe and I didn't do it I kind of overruled you and said oh no, there's a car coming and so um so we were just talking about some of the problems that can come up with giving instruction on this type of dual carriageway lesson for a pupil that's never done it for the first time and about that if how if we can manage risk and set it out at the start how we're going to agree the level of instruction and then if we know our route and deliver directions and instructions clearly and in good time, we will reduce the risk and have quite a, um, a productive lesson, I guess is the word. So learning will take place. We want our learner to be in the zone of learning, not out of their depth so they feel like they're drowning or can't cope and putting them in danger. That's no good. But we don't want it too easy. So we have to kind of get this level of instruction just right so then so after we had that chat you were sort of saying well how can we do it and I've offered to do a demonstration so we've just swapped seats so I'm going to become the instructor and you are going to play the role of the pupil the learner now just a bit of background on that you you're you've been driving automatics for You have got a manual license, yeah. but you're used to automatic. Yeah. So you was a bit apprehensive about, oh no, you've got to mm. drive your car again, manual. So this is okay, because now even though you're a full license holder, training to be an instructor, yeah, I get it, manual isn't your thing. So that kind of make a bit of realism. Mm. You know. So I'll offer you some more support to do that. So we're go I'm going to give you a demonstration. I'm going to change the route slightly to what your route was. Okay. So I thought yours, yours missed out a bit because we wanted to cover. There were there were four things we wanted to cover on this lesson. Yeah, you know, when you gave me the briefing, you wanted to cover entry slip. Yeah. You wanted to look at overtaking. Yeah. You wanted to look at driving on the dual carriageway, dealing with an on slip. So I'd be on the dual carriageway and how we deal with cars coming down the slip road. And then we would exit. Okay. And then I suggested, well, maybe include follow distance in that as well. Okay. Let's get some follow distance in. So um, the overtake, where well, we can manage whether that's on or off. That We can't guarantee that mm -hmm. because if it's not on, it's not on. So... Um, well, well, I would. Well, if I go into old, I can sort of talk about how I would deal with those learning aims and how to manage risk, and then give you practical instruction on a slightly revised route. So we will stay on, so we go past an on-slip, an off-slip, and an on-slip, and then do that. And then once we've done this route, once we've come off, I'm going to get you to pull up okay. in a car park, a park and ride. So then we can do a little debrief. Whereas you took me on and back, all in one go, and I was getting a bit out of my depth. And I think you were feeling a bit okay. overworked at that point as well. So that kind of sets the scene. So let's do, you know, we've skipped the briefing. We've done all that. So we've, we, I've just imagined that I've given you that briefing that you gave me earlier. Okay. And we've got those clear learning aims. And now we're about to go out and do it. So I'm now going to agree the level of help, the level of instruction that you need for this. Yeah. 
to make it client centered and to keep risk manageable, low, low risk. Happy? So it's going to roll, if you like. So now you are playing the role of the people. I'm playing the role of instructor. Okay. So, Shoba, any questions from the briefing? No. No? If you think of anything as we go along today, ask. You know, okay. I might not be able to answer it straight away because it might be a, a lot going on, but I'll always come back and answer, answer okay. it. Okay, happy with that? Yeah. So just to confirm... If I struggle with uh, gears, can you help me? Yeah, I know, because you've been driving manuals, I mean automatics, okay. haven't you? So I'll give you extra support with the gears. Okay. Yeah, so that's a good, good question. And so I'll keep an eye on you, and if I feel we need a gear change, I'll help you and okay. guide you on that. Okay. You're going to remember to put the clutch down, aren't you, before you wiggle this one? Okay. Good. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> right, so, um, so let's just ag agree what the learning aims are, just to confirm. Okay. So we're going to go on to dual carriageway. You've never been on dual carriageway before. Okay. We're going to join the dual carriageway on an entry slip. Okay. So that'll be one of our objectives, learning aims. Okay. Then we're going to drive, we're going to be on the dual carriageway about four miles. Okay. okay. Then we're going to drive past an off slip and an on slip, staying on the dual carriageway. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to come to an exit slip. And we're going to have experience of doing that. And along the way, we might get chance for an overtake. Okay. We'll see. No, I can't guarantee that one. Yeah. And also, I think we said we're going to look at following distance just to make sure you're happy with your following distances. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we've agreed to do. Now, level of instruction, level of help for me. So let's break it down. So when we go on to the slip road, okay. when we're joining the dual carriageway, we're going to use our system, MSPSL, aren't we? Yeah. Now, what level of help would you like from me when you do that for the first time? Do you like me to talk yeah. you through? So I'll be telling you what lane to use, when to check your mirrors, yeah. signalling, speed. We talked about speed. That's yeah. going to be really important today, isn't it? So when we go down that slip road, what speed are we aiming to achieve? How are we going to judge our speed, I should probably say? Match the speed with the traffic on the door carriage. Good. So if I say to you today, Shoba, I need you to speed up. Yeah. I want you to speed up. Okay. I might give you a target speed of like 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 60 okay. miles an hour, or match the speed of that vehicle in front. Okay. okay. So I'll be helping you with that. If you aren't making sufficient progress there, I will tell you in a firm voice, Shoba, speed up. Okay. If I say that, I really do okay. mean for you to do that. Okay. okay. And that is for your safety and my safety and everyone else's safety. Because we've discussed the consequence of going too slow onto a dual carriageway, haven't we? Okay. We've got to match the speed. I've got no dual accelerator here, so I can't physically make you speed up. So I'll only be able to do that with my voice, so I need you to respond. Okay. If you get into difficulty and... I'll ask you. Yeah, ask me. As the nuclear option to make sure I can guarantee your safety, if you don't speed up because you're having problems, then I will take full control of the car and bring us up on the hard shoulder to a okay. stop, okay? That point we could swap, and that means I can still keep you safe, okay? okay? And I don't expect to have to do that, but it is an option. So I just want you to be reassured that, okay. you know, I will keep you safe 100%. Okay. So you've got, you know... So I want you to do what I'm telling you to do, but, you know, I've got your back, basically. Okay. So once we're on the dual carriageway... I want you to stay in lane one, and then we'll assess. We'll look at following distance, and we can talk about that. When we come up to the on-slip, and the exit slip and on-slip, where we're going to stay on, would you like some help with that, about how to manage no, the risk of cars coming on? Okay. You want yeah. help with that? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I'll talk you through that. And what about the exit slip? Would you like some help with that? Yes, please. Okay. It's a full talk frame? Yeah. So on the first, on the run out then, shall we agree that if I help you with the new things, the things you haven't done before, and give you full instruction? Okay. 
Uh, like I say, we'll be on there for about four miles. I'm gonna direct you into a car park at the end of it where we can have okay. a little break, have a little debrief, have a chat. Okay. We can agree what needs to change, what went well, what didn't go swell, and then we'll get you back onto the road if you're happy to do so. Okay. And then I'll hand more responsibility over to you if you feel that you can take more on. Okay. Happy? Happy. Any questions? No. Good. So, should we do it? Now to get to the dual carriageways, we've got a series of roundabouts, we've been working on roundabouts. Are you happy to take responsibility for the roundabouts on the way? Yeah. Just a little bit of help with gears, yeah? Mm, yeah. And anything else you ask for. Okay. Yeah? Cool. Brilliant. Okay, so you're happy to move off when you're ready? Yeah. Alright. Ah, there you go. There we go, I thought you looked a little bit stretched. What we'll do, we'll give you a little warm up drive, okay? Yeah. We'll go around the block. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then after you've gone around the block, I'll ask you if, you, if everything's okay in your okay. seating position. Yeah. And if not, we'll pull up, we'll adjust. Because it is, you haven't driven this car yet today, so, if it does it feel all right at the moment? Has you got a little bend in your left knee? Yeah. Yeah. You've readjusted your seat. You haven't readjusted your mirrors since you've done That's that. Fine. Are they still okay? Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like I say, we'll have a warm up drive if you feel you need to adjust. We'll come back in here, adjust it, and then get going. Okay. okay. Don't want you going down that dual carriageway. Okay. Not comfortable. And. Because we've got a little bit of light rain today, are you happy to put the window wipers on if you needed to? Yep. So if you can just do that for me. So it's actually up, the front one up. And if you need to operate the rear wiper, do you know how to do that on this car? Yep. Away from you, the right still push it forwards. Okay. And then to turn it off back. Happy? Lights, you know where the lights are in your in this car? It's automatic. Auto, we're on auto lights, that's it. Yeah. If you needed to manually turn them on, would you know how to do that? Look at the same switch. They're on yeah. auto at the minute, two clicks to the right. In fact, let's leave it like that, let's have them on. Okay. Auto okay. lights, if we, if we turn it two clicks to the right, then we know they're on, don't we? We're not okay. relying on yeah. sensors. So if you turn your lights on, that's it. Because it's not very well lit today, it's a bit dark, a bit mm. not very well, not very bright, and it is there is a bit of rain. Okay, so when you're ready, I'd like to move <coughs> off. Okay. Just get used to the car, that's it. So I notice you're putting it in gear. What do we need to do before we do Stop that? Benching. That's it. Okay. Good observations, well done. And look at that lovely clutch control right off the start, well done. Okay, so the, the roundabout, we're gonna go ahead. And you're dealing with the roundabout, okay? You're all right with the gears? Is it right gear? No. All right, I'm just gonna you can start on the road, carry on if it's safe. What I've just done there, show is put you in second gear because you selected fourth, okay? So then when you're selecting that second gear, palm it over towards myself. Don't worry about the gear now. Okay. Just check it's safe. That's, what's that car behind doing? Then if it's safe, up to third gear. Don't look at it, just look at the road shaver. That's right, I'm just keep I'm just gonna intervene and put you in third gear then. Okay. So you're going into fifth gear. Do not look at the gear stick shaver. Okay. Look at the road. That's important. What's the danger if you're take, looking down here whilst driving? If this car pulled across in front, what's going to happen there? Yeah. So you need to be looking at the road. Okay. 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 So let's just get used to the car. And we're going to go around the block. Okay. So remember your palming technique. Remember the third and fourth are down the centre of the car. One and two to the left, my side. Five and six are over your side. 
turn around about we're gonna turn left. County signal shaver. What about this junction here? That's it. Slay down, D clutch, pick a gear, is it clear? Seconds. Oh, I'm gonna help you there, okay. One second, and on we go. So at this point, this letter would need to change from dual carriageways to gears, wouldn't it? If we were preparing, well, for any lesson, whether it's a part three or a real lesson, it needs to now be a lesson with gear changes, doesn't it? That would be my adaption. So where that's what we would do. So we're going to turn left the next roundabout, and I just want you to leave it in this gear just for now, okay? So we're going to turn left. Think about the time of your signal. Use your brakes. Is it clear? We've already got a gear, so in we go. Okay. And at the next roundabout, we're going to turn right and just leave it in this gear. Okay, we're in the second gear, we'll just leave it in that gear. So now you're like driving your automatic, and we don't need to worry about that gear change. You're going to turn right. We're going to turn right, we're going to go back to where we just come from. Turn, keep going around. We're always going to turn right. We just keep going around the roundabout show run. Keep going. Put your signal on. Put a right signal on. Put a right signal on. And take the next exit. That's it. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is continue towards the end. There's a junction on the left. Are you happy to do a U-turn and swing it around and come back the way we just come? Just cover your clutch, just in case you need it. So de-clutch now. De-clutch. I'm just going to de-clutch for you to okay. slow it down. Okay, so when I, if I say de-clutch, that means push the clutch down. Okay. okay. In the first gear. I've taken control of the car. I'm on the brake, I'm on the clutch. Okay. You take the clutch for me. Yep. You take the brakes. I'm releasing the pedals, you're in control. Yeah. Are you happy to swing the car around here? Is it safe? Yep. Yeah. And what I'd like you to do is pull up on the left. We're going back into the lay-by where we started from, okay? okay? Just position the car so we can drive out after it, okay? Clutch. All right. That's it. So you can rest your feet. Cool. So let's spend a little bit of time just working on your gears. Okay. So let's just sort of have a refresh. Because what's the problem with the gears at the minute with when you're changing gears? You're not used to doing it, so I totally understand that. So what what has been the issue there? There's a couple of things that are going on with your gears that we could just improve upon. Where are you looking when you change gear? Yeah, and where should you be looking? So how are we gonna if you just turn your key off? How are we gonna overcome that problem? Well, well, we need to get it done quite soon because we're going to be on the road soon, okay. aren't we? So, yeah. should we practice now our stationary? Mm -hmm. And so, to avoid looking at it, we just need to work out where those gears are, don't we? Yeah. So, sometimes you're trying to take third gear and you're accidentally going up to fifth, or you want second gear and you're accidentally going into fourth. So if I said to you the palming method, are you familiar with what the palming method is? Yeah. Okay, let's try that. So if you put your clutch down and palm the gear stick towards me. First. That's third. So the way the gear stick works, see, that's in neutral in the middle, you yeah. palm it there. Yeah. So you go over to that side, to mm -hmm. my side, mm -hmm. first and second. 
Okay. So you've got your odd numbers mm -hmm. and your even numbers. Okay. So you palm it towards me, one and two, down the middle, three and four, palm towards you, okay. five and six. Okay. Okay, so just try that. Just with, pop the clue to clutch down, one and two. One, two. That's it, and now you're getting that. Then try three and four. Three, four. That's it, and then try five and six. So that's back into third, so bring it back, palm it. Yeah. That's it. So, so back into neutral. So let's imagine we're going into a roundabout. Sorry. If you just look over there, just take your eyes off the gear stick, because I'm going to move the gear for you. Just okay. take your hand off the gear stick. I'm going to put you in a... Don't look at the gear stick, just look over there. Look at those hedges. I've put you in a gear, okay? I do not want you to look at this gear stick. Okay. Imagine you're coming into a roundabout, so start braking. Mm -hmm. Put your clutch down. You're looking for a gap in the roundabout. It's clear. What I'd like to do is take second gear now. Yeah. Okay, good. And then bring the clutch up. Okay, so back to neutral. Yeah. What gear were you in? Neutral. When, you, when I asked you to put it in second, second gear. gear. They're no, using six gear then. Okay. So you know I asked you to go into second gear. Mm -hmm. What gear was you in before that? Six. You was in six. Yeah. So you don't need to look at it there. You can just grab the gear stick. And yeah. how long did it take you to do that? Mm -hmm. Quite a long time. Mm -hmm. So if there's a gap on a roundabout, by the time we've done that, we're probably going to have a bit of indecision yeah. and miss our gap. Because yeah. we've got to be in the correct gear before we go into that roundabout mm -hmm. and wait. So we've got some drive in the car. So let's just try that again. Mm -hmm. Look over there. I'm going to put you in another gear this time. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is just pretend, brake, clutch down and pop it into second gear for me. And clutch up. So that was much quicker, that was good. What okay. gear were you in, Shaver? I think fourth, fourth gear. No, you was in second. So the point I'm trying to make there, you took it out of seconds and you put it back in second. Okay. I would rather you go from second to second than look at your gear stick. Okay. That's sort of the point there. So we never look at it unless we're stationary. So um, so the idea is you can just put your hand on the gear stick. Sometimes with experience you'll feel where it is, but it's quite hard. That's you know that's knowing your car very well in quite intimately. But sometimes you just have to grab the gear stick, put it back into neutral, and then palm it. So once it goes back to neutral, whatever gear you're in. Feed it through neutral, mm -hmm. and then you think, right, I need seconds, and palm it in seconds. If you wanted third, just take it out of gear, into neutral, third. So you've got your odd numbers, and your even numbers at the back. Okay. One and two on this side, three and four down the middle, five and six over there. Okay. Okay. Let's just try one more. Let's have a look over there. So what I'd like to do is show is put it into fourth gear. Don't look at it. <laughs> so you're trying to go into sixth gear there. Now that is in six. So how are you going to go from, how are you going to do this? How do we do it without looking at it? How do we find fourth? Where is it? Where is fourth? Down the middle to me or to you? Middle. The middle. So what you're trying to do, you're palming it back over to you, okay. which is five and six. So you're going in the correct direction, i.e. it's an even number and it's at mm -hmm. the back, but you're just palming it towards you for that gear. Yeah. So let's try that again. Look over there. I'll put it in gear. I'd like you to put it in fourth gear for me. Good. That's fourth gear. Okay. Yeah. Feeling a bit happy with that now? Happy enough to continue? Yeah. Well, have another little trip around the block. Okay. See how you get on. If you're... Well, see how you get on. And then if you are getting on all right, then we can talk about doing this dual carriageway lesson. If not, we'll just stick to the lesson doing gears, getting that sorted. Yeah. Happy? Okay. yeah. All right, so when you're ready, we're going to go around the same route, but I will continue to give you directions. Okay. And I'll keep an eye on your gears. If you make a mistake with your gears, don't look at it. I'll put you in gear if time is running short and we're going into the roundabout. Okay. So I'll intervene um, verbally, physically, if I need to actually put you in the correct gear. 
Because what would be the risk if we run into the roundabout at slow speed, in fourth gear, for example, and brought the clutch up? What would happen to the car? It can't go into a stall. It could stall. Yeah. And if we stall, what's going to happen to the car? If the car stalls, yeah. what would happen? It will stop. It will stop. And if there's something behind on the roundabout, what's the risk? They might go crazy. They might go crazy. They could go crazy. They go really crazy if they hit us. Yeah. <laughs> and so are we. So yes, yeah, so we want to. That's that. There's a high risk of of that happening, isn't there? So I won't let that happen. Okay. I'll keep an eye on you. Practiced on the technique. We will not get rear-ended because I will make sure you're in the correct gear. I've got my clutch here so I can always change gear manually myself, okay, okay just to help you. Happy? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go around the block again. I'm going to give you directions and we're just going to work. Give, do a bit of a little gear workout, okay? Okay. Cool. Yep. When you're ready. If you're happy, happy to continue? Yep. Yeah, cool. Good. Being your car's got an automatic handbrake as well, isn't it? Yeah. Are you trying to get used to that as well? Yeah, nightmare, right? <laughs> like going back in time. Yeah. Okay, so ahead of the roundabout. So let's think about that car. What gear would be an appropriate gear for the speed? Second. Second would be, we're in first, so keep going in first. Don't worry about the gear change now. So we're on top of the roundabout. And then as soon as it's safe to do so, we can go from first to third, can we? We'll miss out a second at this speed. Good, well done. And then look at that spot on. So we can block change up, save the scope through unnecessary gear changes. How are you feeling, Shaver? Okay. You look a little bit tense with the steering. You look like you're wiggling in that steering a bit. Just try and relax. Try and relax. What I'd like to do, Shaver, don't change gear, but just when it's safe to do so, just place your left hand on top of the gear stick. Don't look at it and tell me what gear you think you're in. And now put your hand back to the wheel. What gear do you think you're in? That was in third. We're going to turn left, okay? So think about the time of your signal for this one. Okay. So you're going to bring in the brakes. More clutch down. What gear do you think we need for this speed? Second. Around about. So you palm it. That was full. Okay, so I've just intervened there just to prevent that stall. There is no one behind us, but I, we just want to prevent a stalling mid roundabout there, don't we? Okay, so we're in check. We're in second gear, is what the gear I think you're in. Over to you. So let's go for a block change from, block change from second to fourth. Maybe wait till after this car. Just go for the gear change now. Try and relax, keep your hands steady on the wheel. That's it. Gonna turn left at the roundabout, so a mirror signal. Bring in the brakes. Slow it. You decide whether that's it's clear. Clutch down, slower, clutch down into you first. Don't look at it. You were in first, but you took it out, so I'm gonna put you in gear. Come off the gas. Bring the clutch up, you're back in control. So yeah, you put it in first and you took it out and put it in third. Okay. So let's ease off, let's go second. Right, I'm just going to intervene. Because you just popped it in neutral. And we're going to turn right. So we're bringing this back in. Because you need more, more. We need to help you a little bit more with this one. Do you feel you're a little bit out of your depth? That's the exit. So 
So are you happy to do a U-turn at the end? Yeah. Yeah. And so think about what you need to do with your clutch. Just reduce speed. Leave it in gear. Just de-clutch. Let it roll with the clutch down. Look round. Over your shoulder. If it's safe, let it roll out. Okay, now that's one. I'm just going to stop you there. But at that speed you'll need to take first. Okay. If you maintain just a tiny bit more speed you can let it roll and bring the clutch up and you'd go around there. Okay. But just we've sort of fallen below a sort of a, a speed where we'd need first. Okay. So if you take first gear you've got control. if you could pull up on the left. Same as before. Point it the way we want to go at the, when we go out. Already got your clutch down, have you? Yeah. yeah. Keep your feet still, you're in you're in gear at the moment. There. That's it. So how do you feel with the old gear? Alien, see, isn't it? Just alien. So, would this be suitable to now do a lesson on dual carriageways if we're looking to control the car with gears? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be so. Wouldn't be a safe lesson, would it? Okay. So that's really important. Take that away mm -hmm. because when you're planning your part three, you kind of just have to adapt the lesson. Think, you know, that we had a plan. But it doesn't matter. We, the most important thing is turn the key, is the the client, the pupil, and okay. going at their pace. And so we 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 adapt the lesson plan, and this would turn into a lesson on gears mm -hmm. rather than dual carriageways. And at that point, because we're going round with help, and I'm still intervening, and we're going into roundabouts, and I'm helping, we would need to do something different now and bring it back. So we'd need to think about simplifying the route, possibly, and go into okay. a quieter area where mm -hmm. you can just go used, get used to that. Mm -hmm. um, that would probably be the best option mm -hmm. in that case. Or just agree to stay where we are but keep the level of help high. Okay. So like a full talk through. So, so take some jobs off you to sort of so you can focus more mm. on that and help until, because after a little while you'll get it, but it's just not muscle memory at the moment, is it? You need more practice to do that, to get proficient at it. So on that note, we're, we, we won't do this dual carriageway lesson because okay. because it would just be the wrong lesson okay. for, for this time. But we would go back to it when you've just got that skill. And we all we need, all that stands between us and that lesson is a bit of practice and a bit of time just to get it right and uh, that's really good that we've just sort of recorded that because that will illustrate that how you can just adapt the lesson plan and think oh actually do you know what we do need to change, do something different don't we because yeah. that's the way the examiner's going to look at it thinking well why are they doing dual carriageways when there's a bigger need you know like the saying, you don't want to run before you can walk. Now, if we was doing this in 